Hi, today we're going to be going over the Java solution for lead code 1838. Frequency of the most frequent element. The frequency of an element is the number of times it occurs in an array. You are given an integer array nums and an integer k. In one operation, you can choose an index of nums and increment the element by um, at that index by one. Return the maximum possible frequency of any element after performing at most k operations. So basically what this question entails is that we um, are given a limited number of k's and that can ha and we can use them to increment um, any of these elements um, that amount and we can like distribute it off. We could like if k is equal to five, we could increment one element by three, one element by one and another one by one as well or we could put it all into um, a single element. But basically we're going to use that to um, try to find a way to get the most amount of elements to be the exact same. And we're going to return how, what is the maximum possible ones we can do. So for in this one, um, we are given this array and five Ks, I guess, to increment. And so if we look at this, the output, the answer should be three, which makes sense. Um, if we want to optimize this really, we're, on, we're not going to increment um, the largest element. We're only going to increment the ones less than it, trying to get it to it. Like it wouldn't make sense to make this 4 a 5 because then we would have to make all of these a 5 as well. Whereas if we just left it as a 4, we just have to increment these two um, to get it to be a, a 4. So, you know, we would increment 1 by th uh, 3 to get us 4 and then 2 by 2 to get us 4. And so we used up our 5Ks and all four element, all three elements would be k. So that's basically how it works. Let's look at this second example. In this one, um, k is equal to five again, and the biggest one we can make um, apparently is of size two. So if we look at, let's say, this one right here, we could increment this one by three to get both of these to be four, and that doesn't leave us any room to like increment them again to get them to be eight or 13. So that's where our two comes in, and Notice that we didn't actually use up all our Ks. We don't have to. Um, another one, I guess, would be this one right here. So 4 and 8, we would have to increment to 4 by 4 to get us 8. So we would get two 8s, and that's our um, 2 um, as our output. And then this one right here, where we would increment the 8 by 5. So um, the only trick that comes into this is that we can you have to use the idea that we can only use K to increment. We cannot um, remove elements trying to balance them out. We can only increment them. So how are we going to actually go about doing this? So this um, seems like um, a sliding window problem. So what we can do here is that we can actually sort our nums. So if we sort them, so these ones are already sorted, um, except this one right here. These two are already sorted. And it says that like we don't know if it's going to be sorted. Um, they never specify that it has to be. But if we sort them, we can treat them like... Uh, a sliding window problem. So um, let's go over this um, sliding window. Um, if you don't know, it's basically we're going to look at a certain window. So like maybe two elements and then that window can grow. So now we could look at three and it could also shrink. So now we would look at these two. But it's not like we're looking at every single subset. The end of the window will always be increasing and the back of the window will always be increasing as well. They cannot like um, go all the way back or something like that. So here um, if we imagine like a sliding window, we can see we can increase it when we still have k's remaining, and then we could decrease, um, and then we could increase our anchor or end of our sliding window um, when we run out of them to eventually get a valid substring. So, for example, if we're looking at this one right here, um, again, we only got to increment them to be the highest element in that um, sliding window. So, if they're already sorted, it's pretty f easy to find out which is the um, greatest element. So in this one, the greatest element is one and there's only one element. We don't have to use up any of our k's, so we could increase our window to now be one and two. So here two is our greatest element. So we want to increase this one to be two. So we could increment it by one and now our k um, remaining is four. So we could still increment it. So we will increment it all the whole way. And now we want all um, both of these elements to also be four. So we could increment the two by two and then increment the one by three. So that's how we, and that uses up all our Ks, and that's how we can figure out that um, the largest subarray or the largest um, number of elements is going to be three. Um, let's look at example two. Um, again, we have one on its own. That's the largest element, it's only one. We have, don't have to use any of them up. So now we're gonna increase them to be one and four. So here, 
um, we're going to use up three of our Ks to get both of these to be four. And now we still have Ks remaining, so we um, it's still valid. So we're going to increase again. Now we're going to look at one, four, and eight. And here we're going to have to increment our one and four to be eight. So that's going to use up seven plus four. That's going to use up 11 elements, which um, 11 Ks, which we don't have. We only have a limit of five. So that means we're going to decrease our window. So now it's only going to be four and eight. So with four and eight, um, we can increment the four by four to get us eight. Um, so that's valid. And we still have Ks remaining. So now let's increase it to four, eight, and 13. And now we have to increment the eight and four. Um, to get us 13. So we're going to have to increment the 8 by 5 and the 4 by 9. And that's going to use up more than the amount of Ks we have. So we're going to decrease our sliding window. So we um, have it with 8 and 13. And then that uh, we will use up 5 to make the 8 into 13. And so keeping track of the maximum length of the window between this whole thing, the maximum length was only ever 2. So that's why we returned 2. There were multiple valid uh, windows. But again, the maximum length was only two. So let's try with this one. If we were to sort this, if we were to sort this, we would get three, six, and nine. And here, um, our k is two. So we would look at this one, three. We don't have to increment anything else since three is the greatest element and there's only one. And then we will look at three and six. We have to increment the three by uh, three to get a six. And that's going to use up all our k. So we have to decrease it. And now we're only... Um, our window is only 6, which means we don't have to increment anything. We could start increasing our window. So now we're looking at 6 and 9. We have to increment to 6 by 3 to get us 9, um, which is more than how much Ks we have. And so we would decrease our window so to just be 9. And then by that time, we've reached the end of the array. So um, our maximum we've ever really got was only ever 1. So that's how we got the output of 1. So that's basically... So let's go to coding it. Um, so again, I said that we're going to first sort the array. So arrays.sort nums. And this is just going to make it uh, very easy for us to keep track of like, okay, what's the maximum element in this uh, window sequence? And then we could um, increase the other ones accordingly. And also, we're not actually physically increasing these. Um, we're just going to calculate what it would be. Um, so, and also since it's a sliding window, we're going to have an int max that we're going to keep track of, which... Uh, max is at mo at the very least going to be 1 and also an int anchor which is going to be 0 and then a for int uh, uh, int i is equal to 0 i is less than nums.length i++ plus plus. let me make this a bit neater there we go um, and here how are we actually going to keep track of how many k's we've used up because Here's the thing. If we um, let's look at, let's say this one, if we have this, we've used up three of our case. But then when we increase it to this and, you know, we have to decrease our sliding window, we have to figure out how many case we have, uh, how many case do we have to remove from that one? Because we can't just do one minus the eight. Um, so what we can do is that we could keep track of an int sum and this sum is going to be basically the sum of all the elements inside this array. Um, so as we're going through it, um, we're going to basically see one, we're going to increase that to our sum, we're going to see a four, we're going to increase that to our sum. And then um, when we look at eight and everything like that, we're going to increase that to our sum. So at this point, our sum is going to be eight plus four, which is 12 plus one, which is 13. And then when we have to decrease it, we could just subtract this one from our sum. So why is this um, useful? Well, because we can figure out our case by doing um, eight, the greatest element times the length of the array minus the sum. Um, since you could imagine if we do the greatest elements times the length of the array, that is basically the amount, um, the sum, if all of the elements in that array were equal to the greatest element. So if one was an eight, if four was an eight and eight is an eight. So in that that would um, eight times three, that would get us 24. And then what we can do is subtract that 24. We could um, take that 24 and subtract it from our current sum of keeping track of all of these. So that way we can figure out how much Ks we have used up. So as, so as we're gonna go, we're gonna increment our sum um, with the new elements as we as they come along. And then we're also gonna have a while loop that's gonna um, decrease it. It's gonna first check um, to see is this uh, window valid? And then if it's not, this while loop is going to start decreasing the window until it is valid. So until nums of i times
times i minus uh, anchor plus one since it's zero index minus sum is greater than k. So this is exactly what I was just talking about. Um, so nums of i times anchor i minus anchor plus one. So that's going to get basically how big, how, what would the sum be if all the elements were the greatest element in that sequence? And then we're just subtracting our sum. And so that should get us how many k's we need to use up. And if that is greater than our available ones, then that means we need to decrease our uh, window. And so what we can do is that we can now do some minus equals nums of anchor, and then we're going to increase our anchor. So we're going to increase it so it's shortening down the window and we're um, subtracting that from our sum. And then after that, um, we have, if it passes this while loop, then we know that we have a valid uh, subsequence or uh, sliding window. So we could just update our maximum to be math.max between our current max and also our i minus anchor plus one. So this is just checking if it is greater, if the current substring we have is greater, then it will update our maximum and we're just going to return max at the very end. So let's see if this works. Okay, great. Um, now let's submit it. All right, great. So that was uh, frequency of the frequency of the most frequent.